Hi, so please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Eric Ford from Proven Run. And at Proven Run, we are uh, helping our customers to succeed in uh, securing their uh, devices in the IoT market. And cybersecurity is all about Proven Run. So we are helping our customers to identify their security risk. We are helping them to put in place the right security architecture, and we are helping them also to succeed in their cybersecurity certification. On the other side, this is this is where we are helping the customer, you know, in um, in moving forward in the in the process of uh, securing the devices. We are also providing really highly secure products. So we have our flagship product, Provencore, right? And uh, Provencore is a secure microkernel that has been certified at the highest security possible level, common criteria EL7, and this is a world premiere. This is for Cortex-A, for RISC-V, 64-bit processors. We are also helping our customer for smaller devices based on the MCUs, right, with a second secure microkernel. As an example, we have a very nice partnership with ST Microelectronics on the STM32 H5. And uh, we have also a secure hypervisor. So in a very nut brief nutshell, this is what we, we are providing to our customer, help to succeed in their certification process, in their cybersecurity uh, certification, and also in implementing uh, their cybersecurity services on top of our product. Thank you very much. Uh, so so right here, you say, is, it, is this the most secure in the world system? Yeah, we are the only most one. secure. Yeah. How can you describe how it's the most secure and what does it mean by the first in the? What do you say I, the I, level? I, I, I gave the CC level. What is the CC level? It's common criteria. Uh, this is the most demanding cybersecurity um, uh, norms. Okay. And uh, EL7 means that we have developed uh, proven core uh, secure kernel, secure operating system using formal methods, and we have. Um, proven mathematically the correctness of the kernel and the cyber security functionality of the kernel. So it was not uh, easy to get to that level? Not at all. It took us about seven years to develop uh, the kernel and uh, two years to achieve the mathematical proof, the formal proof. Can you describe what's the challenge in developing the kernel to be secure like that? Yes, I can describe it. First of all, um, uh, the, the current uh, security kernel, you know, has been developed with the usual um, development methods using a C language, for instance. The challenge is that when you are doing, um, f you are using formal methods to develop uh, to develop software, uh, that those methods were uh, well fitting for functional um, uh, software, piece of code, but not uh, well fitting for uh, developing uh, an operating system, a secure operating system. So we had to create our own formal language as a first step in order to be able to achieve the development of the secure operating system and to be able to prove it uh, formally, means proving it mathematically. And so you have a long experience in getting stuff like that done. Yes, yes. Our uh, CEO and founder, Dominic Bodignano, uh, has been the inventor of the concept of the trusted execution environment, means the, the secure, secure uh, kernel, uh, more than 20 years ago. And uh, because he found out that the way of the existing TE in the market, you have one in your mobile phone so far, uh, we never reached the sufficient level of cybersecurity. He decided to go further down the road to target the highest possible level of cybersecurity that we can achieve currently. If you go over there, uh, you have a few uh, posters. Uh, you have the Proven Core M. Yes, uh, this is this is the micro kernel here for uh, MCUs. This is what is. Uh, currently part of uh, the ST Microelectronic STM32H5 uh, Secure Manager. If you go to the ST booth, uh, you will see uh, this, uh, this uh, live. You, will have, you have a live demos. 
We have also a very nice partner partnership with uh, Xilinx um, on the CRIA uh, SOM module that is a, a ultra-scale MPSOC based system on module where our flagship product Provencor is uh, providing uh, security services. Also nice innovation. Um, beyond ARM architecture, currently RISC V is growing up uh, in the embedded market. So um, we have a partnership. We have a partnership with the Sci Five to demonstrate how Proven Core uh, brings security functionality uh, above uh, Sci Five Wall Guard uh, separation uh, mechanism. And last but not least. Uh, it's great to uh, talk about uh, partnership, to uh, talk about innovation, but it's also really great to uh, present real-life product. For instance, uh, we have um, we have worked with Engrave, that is a, a company building a crypto wallet. Right? This is a product that is on the market. As you can imagine, when you are talking about a cryptocurrency, you need a very high level of security and Engraved has used uh, our product to secure uh, their crypto wallet and to, uh, to keep the secret very safe in regard of the security uh, requirement. And uh, this wallet has been developed using STMicro uh, processors, uh, using Provencore, our product, and using also Linux as a request. Is it the most secure crypto wallet in the world? We believe so. We, you, ha, you would have to ask the question to Engrave, but uh, we are very proud about this achievement with, uh, with our customer, with Engrave. And uh, can, can you explain a little bit the trust execution environment and uh, there's an open source version of it? Yes, you have open source solution. Opti? Opti, exactly. You're, and you are involved in that one? No, but our founder uh, has been at the, the roots of the TE concept. Uh, he invented the concept. Uh, Opti is an open source uh, TE, but uh, uh, Opti has a fairly low level of cybersecurity. So if you, if you scale Opti on the common criteria cybersecurity scale, Opti, you can reach common criteria level 2, level 2 plus. Um, cyber certification certifi uh, certification level has at uh, proven core we have achieved a, a, a common criteria uh, EL7 you know uh, cyber certification to do security it has to do with uh, keeping some secrets and stuff like that exactly uh, you want to not reveal the secrets it's like not only encryption it's, it's like it's, to it's, it's far, an it's, architecture that you don't tell people how it works and stuff like that. No, it's not. It's not by hiding the people. I, I, I can show you um, how does it work. For instance, here on, on this graph. Yeah. So let, let me rewind a little bit about the TE, the TE and the secure concept. Right? Cyber security is all about the trusted computing base. Right? So the trusted computing base is the piece of software that has to be highly secure and on which you will build your security, uh, your security services, okay? Currently, many people are already doing cybersecurity with, uh, with operating systems like Linux, Android, Ertos, right? But those are very big. And uh, we've got um, uh, the, the, those are they have a uh, uh, cyber security issue, you know, almost every day. If you look at Linux, you will find uh, vulnerabilities published on a daily basis, right? So it's too big to protect properly uh, your application, your device. So what happens is that we, uh, we use a TE that is, uh, that is sitting in a secure area, uh, provided by the hardware, for instance, for ARM, this is the ARM Trust Zone Secure Wall, right? Or if you use Risk Five, it is in a, in a, in a trusted area, a separated area uh, managed by um, uh, Wall Guard, and then you can have a very highly secure microkernel, right? Very small, proven at the highest level of cybersecurity. On top of which. You, uh, cre you create your secure application. You are talking about secure storage. It is one example. 
so you will uh, you will manage your secrets like uh, keys like uh, certificates um, uh, through this uh, this environment right and the risk choice will request uh, the the secure environment to uh, cipher decipher the, the data for instance to manage the keys and so on but we are not stopping at just encryption decryption at uh, a secure storage we we, we we have the ability to implement more uh, sophisticated cybersecurity services such as firmware updates such as um, filtering data filtering that goes over the network right you want to control like VPN for instance so there is many additional services and here you have the list of services for instance right you may want to implement trusted user interface you may want to um, implement intrusion detection systems so you don't trust Linux or Android to do this. You will trust the secure part to achieve this kind of, of task. Nice. Um, you're based in France? Yeah, we are a French company. We are a French company based in both Paris and uh, Sofia Antipolis near Nice. And when we talk about cybersecurity and uh, uh, the continent of Europe wants to have better security and even the chips might come manufactured in another continent, uh, you want to bring it over, you want to be secure, uh, but you work with customers all over the world. Yes, we, we have customers all over the world. We, are, we have customers in North America, obviously in France, in Europe, we have customers in Asia Pac also. Cool. And as busy in Better World? It was a very good show for us, we were really busy, busy, all, the, um, all those uh, past three days. Cool.